ringside, Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we're just about ready for action. EA Sports presents 12 rounds of boxing. Nichols is almost giving you the feeling here that he's completely indifferent to all the pressure. I mean, this is a guy that's been there, done that, and he couldn't care less about the pressure that are in front of him.
Nichols. Good shot to the midsection by Kobe Nichols. Right hand downstairs. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. Well placed left hand there. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Nichols is putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. That's it. That's it. Nice strike after catching one by Kobe Nichols. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. He just missed that shot up top. Good looking jab there. Some left. Nice work on the combination by Nichols. Takes one but gives one. Good work by Kobe Nichols. And now he's targeting upstairs. Nichols' right hand scores well that time. End of this round. Joe and Teddy sitting ringside with you. It gives us time to reflect on the bigger picture of boxing. You know, it was interesting. We had a fan walk up to you earlier today and say, Yeah, I know you earned everything from the legendary Cus Tomato, the great trainer. And he said to you, what's the one thing you took away from all your years with Cuss? What did you say? Well, it wasn't a paycheck. <laughs> because Cuss didn't believe in paying you for that. He said you're going to college, you're getting a valuable uh, education, and you're not even being forced to pay a tuition. So I understood that. We worked seven days a week, so there was no union. Uh, Cuss believed in working on Sundays, so you couldn't go complain and say I'm being overworked. But I think, seriously, that the most important thing that I learned of course, that from a technical standpoint, you have to be really secure in those areas. No matter how much talent a fighter has, you have to teach them, right? Teach them the fundamentals, but mentally. You have to understand that a fighter's really always the fear. And you have to understand those dimensions, those parameters. And you have to be able to find a way to get in there, understanding how he feels mentally, and understanding how that can impair his judgment, stop him from doing simple physical things. Good accuracy with that uppercut. Nichols is putting together punch stats tonight that fall right in line with what his strategy is. Outside fighter, throwing lots of jabs, landing lots of jabs. Well, what it is is the jab is the table setter. And the jab tonight has set up the table where he's been able to eat whatever he's won. Well placed hook. Targeting that head with the combination punching. He clinches when he gets to the inside. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Scored well up top. Solid straight right hand. Two good jabs by Nichols. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Kobe Nichols. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Able to time that left hand and score with it. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire him right back with one of his own. Good work by Kobe Nichols. Nichols is showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. And this round comes to an end. What are you waiting? You want this fight? Then let's get moving up. This guy is going to win this fight if you don't take control of him. Round number four underway, a chance to look at Teddy's scorecards. Nichols is up two rounds to one. Teddy hasn't necessarily distinguished himself in any one area other than he's been a little more active. Yeah, he has been more active. The only thing that I worry about 
as a trainer, I would be concerned he has to work harder than the other guy to get this done. It's kind of hurt him down the road. Good exchange. He fires back. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with his counter punching. Then he ties up on the inside. Solid left hand to the head. Nichols is applying an old axiom in sports, and that is speed kills. He's got plenty of it in the ring tonight. Yes, he does. He's going to be up to his opponent now to find a way to take away that speed. Find something that can offset that speed. And I think that starts with controlling range. Get out of the range where he can control you, where he can use that speed. Fires right back at him. He scores with the left. Comes right back with some offense of his own. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Good flush shot upstairs. And now a well-placed hook to the head. Well-placed right hands from both men. That is exactly what the corner wanted to see. A good combination punch by Kobe Nichols. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Scored well up top. A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Well-targeted left hand by Nichols. Clean shot with the right. You're letting this get away. Come on now, this is it. You gotta make it a fight now. You need to cover up more, okay? You're leaving yourself open too much. Cover up.
now that he's back in the corner, we get a close-up look. Nichols' is putt even was worse. And it's up to the putter now, so for his attitude not to change. You know, we can look at it, and we can say, wow, that putt looks worse. The fans can look at it and say that. But the fighter must be steady. The same attitude as though he doesn't have a putt. Otherwise, he has no chance of winning this fight. Just keep doing what you're doing. Don't let him breathe. Don't let him out. It's hurt. Get him. First half of this fight, he completely dominated the action, Teddy. Yeah, but you know what? It's kind of like they said in that movie, The Gambler. You know, they don't pay off at halftime. Yeah, the guy to Absolutely. Oh, same thing. He's got another half of the fight. Can he be consistent? Can he keep his concentration? Can he keep doing what he's been doing? that he really has to worry about. Take that out of the equation, he'd be winning the fight. He scored well after being hit himself. Nichols is so dangerous with that accuracy. A two-punch combination landing. Oh, he is stuck. He could go down. Focus, focus, focus. Joe Tessitore, have yourself a great night.